Should you use large targets when you are shooting to help new shooters gain confidence? Let's talk about that. Welcome to the Patriot Training YouTube channel. My name is Clay Howell. I'm the owner and head firearms instructor at Patriot Training. The purpose of this video is to talk about those large silhouette targets that we've all seen that are way too large and they have all the circles and the circles have the X marks the spot, the 10 ring right dead center. Clearly these are not anatomically correct targets. They could be used, I guess, in some sort of a competition fashion to score. I would assume I have yet to see a competition where those were used. However, most competitions I've seen like IDPA and USPCA, um, those competitions use different targets with different scoring areas. So one thing that some people will say about these large targets is that you can use them for the purpose of training a new shooter, teaching them how to shoot, and it helps build confidence because you have a larger scoring area. And I suppose that could be the case, but hear me out. Uh, the fact of the matter is, is that students, when they're in a class, will try to meet expectations. And a brand new student frequently fails to meet expectations. And that's okay, that's part of the learning process. You've got to have some uh, trial and, and, and success and failure. These are all part of the learning process and so what I have found is that if you start a student with an eight inch target and they have moderate or little or no skill they tend to make a 10 inch group likewise if you do like we do at Patriot training we start brand new students out first day of essential pistol the first target we use is the DEA dot target and these are dots that are about three inches in diameter and what we find is that the vast majority of students who fail do so by shooting about a four inch group they'll have a darn it now and again a, a shot that just lands an inch or two outside of that circle <clears throat> so for teaching purposes because students try and sometimes succeed and sometimes don't and that's part of the learning process we use a much smaller target and then we transition to anatomically correct targets where the idea is to shoot high center mass just like all the vital zones are on a real human body and when that 8 inch target is displayed students rarely miss that because they got accustomed to shooting that three and four inch group earlier in the day. You know, I heard a story once from a friend who was a police officer and he said a fellow officer, not he, but a fellow officer uh, had to get involved in an officer involved shooting and shot the suspect right here in the high stomach, low solar plexus area, shot the suspect there like seven or 10 times, quite a bit. And finally the suspect goes, hey, hey, I surrender. Just stop shooting me, please. And, you know, clearly he was in pain, but clearly it was not a fight stopper. And I would suggest that the reason that the officer shot to the center, the very literal center of that suspect's body, was because of these sorts of targets where that 10 ring is down there in the middle instead of anatomically correct. One time I was assisting in the instruction of a stop the bleed class and the instructors were critical care paramedics, one of whom I have worked with extensively, Terry Couts, the former uh, uh, primary medical instructor at Patriot Training. The other was a good friend of his. And the friend mentioned, she said that the vast majority of gunshot wounds she had worked in her line of work had been to the buttocks. And I said, oh, let me guess, it was the upper left buttock. And she looked at me with wide eyes and she said, yes, how did you know? And I said, very easy. People who do shoot from time to time shoot at those large silhouette targets where the 10 ring is right in the solar plexus high stomach area. 
and most shooters are right-handed, like 75% of them, and most shooters without training will shoot low and left because they will be jerking on the trigger like this. And so therefore, if you look at one of those targets, you look at low and left, if you think about a person running away and they shoot at that person running away, which is often a bad idea, not always, and they jerk low and left, well, that's going to wind up in the upper buttock region if the person is running away. So that would explain why she had seen so very many gunshot wounds to the buttocks. It was a bullet, wasn't it? bullet that jumped up and bit you. Oh, yes, sir. Bit me directly in the buttocks. Fascinating. And she found it astounding that I was able to solve that riddle so quickly. She thought it was a lifelong riddle of why so many people got shot in the rear end. And in fact, it was just, you know, simple application of logic of, you know, me having seen thousands of students come through and the vast majority of new students, new students jerk the trigger, shoot low and left, especially if they're right-handed. And, you know, many people have shot before they come to a class, but they have no bearing. They, 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 they have a, a lack of fundamentals, so they have shot on those big, large targets. And that circle right in the middle, that was your 10 ring. Instead of being high center mass, it was right in the middle of the body. So these things just added up to give a very, very logical solution to what she had seen. Well, folks, I recommend that you use an anatomically correct target. Many, many people like IDPA targets, and that's a great place to start. It's one of the more universal targets you can pick. There are many others that are very good on the market. Those are fine, too. I generally advocate against the silhouette with the concentric rings where the 10 ring is right here in the middle of the stomach. That's just, I don't believe in practicing that way because when it comes time to do what you've always done, you're going to do what you've always done, and that is you're going to place a shot, if you're decent enough, you're going to place a shot right in the middle of the stomach, and that's not going to incapacitate your attacker. It may just agitate them, and that's not a good thing. So I advocate that you use something that's anatomically correct, you know, that has the uh, vital area in the high center mass, uh, like it really exists. And I would advocate that, uh, you know, you tell your friends that too. Have them, have them shoot targets of the same construction, shall we say. Well, folks, that's it for this video. Tell me what you think. Do you agree? Do you disagree? Do you have an anecdote that maybe supports what I'm saying? Do you have an anecdote that maybe uh, contradicts what I'm saying? Put it down there in the comment section. I'd love to hear from you. I'd like to encourage you to hit like, hit subscribe, and click that notification bell so that you find out when the next Patriot Training video is coming. And I must remind you, you don't have to be a Patriot to train, but you do have to train if you want to be a Patriot. Take care.